uses MFNR or multi-frame noise reduction. That means it's taking eight 64 megapixel shots, combining them into one to give you one incredible high quality image. Now to do something like this, of course, the challenge is on the hardware processing side, which means that anytime Xiaomi uses a 64 megapixel camera sensor, it has to be supported with 6 GB of RAM. Because if we are using a 4 GB RAM variant, we cannot do MFNR. Hence, you only have a single frame, which often results in really low quality 64 megapixel shots. Now, when you're buying a 64 MP camera, you expect that magic. And for that, you're limiting it to 6 GB. So the Pro Max, as you would have guessed, will start with only 6 GB of RAM. And while we are talking about RAM, of course, let's talk about performance or max performance. Well, I'm going to break this into three sections. The processor itself, and obviously some of us love those benchmarks and all the, uh, the cool stuff that comes with it. Second part I want to talk about is navigation. Now, we've not spoken about navigation in a long time, but today we've got something very, very special to share with you. And the third is the battery. Of course, with performance, you have to have a battery that kind of backs it up. Let's get into the processor part of it. Well, this is the first Redmi Note that will come with the 8 nanometer chipset. Now, this is a huge change when it comes to the previous generation. On the Redmi Note 8 Pro, we were using a Helio G90T, which was a 12 nanometer process uh, chip. This one is 8 nanometer. Now, why is this significant? Why is this important? Because you have better thermal efficiency and you have lower power consumption. Lower power consumption means that your battery lasts even longer. It also was recently called out, this processor that we are using, is being better than the Snapdragon 730G and the Helio G90T by TechPP. Any guesses? Okay, one more hint. This is the first Redmi Note to come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 700 series. And yes, this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G. Now, 720G is a significant leap in terms of processing in the 700 series from Qualcomm. It is built on the 8 nanometer process, which I told you was better for thermals and battery. But not just that, it's using the Cryo 465 architecture. That means it's also more powerful. But what's really, really important and a huge part of why the cameras are looking even better is because of a whole new AI engine. When the camera AI kicks in, You've got the Hexagon 692 supporting it all it can, along with, of course, the ISP, the Spectra, and it gives you incredible results. But if you want to look at just the pure performance, let's look at the Antutu scores. So, Oppo Reno 3 Pro is launched just a couple of uh, weeks back. Now, this uses the Helio P95, and it clocks in at about 2.25 lakh uh, score on Antutu. Pretty good. Then you've got the Vivo V17 Pro, which we showed you the camera samples for as well, has a Snapdragon 675. Now, Snapdragon 675 is something that we used on the Redmi Note 7 Pro more than a year back. Now, this one clocks in at about 212,000 points. And then you've got the Samsung A71, which uses the Snapdragon 730 and does about 265,000 points points on Antutu. Where does that put the 720G on the Pro Max? Of course, a lot higher. At 280,000 points, clearly you can see that TechPP wasn't really wrong. Uh, but not just from a pure performance perspective, it's also for all the gamers out there. In fact, the 720G the G is more than just a respectful part. It's also for gaming. 
so you've got the Adreno 618 GPU and this supports elite gaming. In a nutshell, what it means is that you've got smoother gameplay, less jitters and also less variation in terms of frames per second, which is all incredibly important when you're playing online games, right? Each point second, point one second can make the difference between, you know, your team winning and not. Uh, and to also kind of bolster that, you have to go beyond the SOC and we've added one more new thing on the Pro Max. You've got for the first time ever a 2x2 two two MIMO on the Wi-Fi setup as well. Not just 4G, but Wi-Fi is also a 2x2 two two MIMO, which means you get better latency and better coverage when you're on Wi-Fi. And both of these work in tandem. Now, adding on to the performance, like I said, we are starting with 6 GB, but we are not stopping there. It's going up all the way to a 8 GB DDR4X RAM. And along with that high-speed RAM, you're also getting high-speed storage. So you're getting up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. And one more thing that we had done. Uh, on the Note 8 series, you see the Note 8 and the Note 8 Pro, were the first Redmi Note to not have a hybrid SIM slot. It had a 2 plus 1 SIM slot or a SIM tray, which meant you could use two SIMs and a separate dedicated slot for micro SD. Well, you guys told us that you loved it. We are extending it further. The Note 9 Pro Max will also have a 2 plus 1 uh, setup when it comes to SIMs. Now that is the performance part of it or the processor part of it. The next part is something that's been really, really close to all of our hearts. That's navigation. You guys know what, what's coming next. Of course, when it comes to navigation, for years, or actually since smartphones, we have been using one of these three. Either the American GPS system, or the Russian GLONASS system, or in some cases, even the Chinese Beidou system. Now, these are satellite clusters which help your phone figure out where exactly it is. Well, on the Pro Max, for the first time ever, we are bringing in India's own navigation system, Navic. <laughs> now, this has been possible thanks to a very deep partnership that we've had with ISRO uh, back to the first time they started testing Navic on our devices. The first device in the world that successfully ran Navic, our first consumer device, was actually the Mi 8. Uh, from there, of course, we've come a long way. Our uh, Pro Max will support Navic, which means it's faster to lock on. It is giving you more accurate positioning than any of the other uh, uh, positioning satellites. And of course, a lot more reliable as long as you are within the Indian subcontinent or within a periphery of another 1,500 kilometers. So even if you are in neighboring countries, Navic is going to work perfectly. And what we are doing at Xiaomi is we will always prioritize the Navic satellites. Navic has seven satellites focused on India. Uh, your device should be able to latch on to any of these seven. And only if you are not able to find these seven will we kind of go onto the GPS and the GLONASS systems that we've been traditionally using. So expect more accurate, faster lock with the Note 9 Pro Max. And that brings us to the last part. Battery. Now, something that's become pretty much synonymous with the Note series. Right from the Redmi Note 3, where we first introduced a 4000 mAh, we had all the way to Note 7 Pro, which also had a 4000. With the Note 8 Pro, we stepped it up, and that 4000 became 4500. And of course, the overall feedback, the consumer satisfaction surveys have been absolutely brilliant. So we thought, hey, if something is working well, let's make it even better. Introducing today, the largest battery on a Redmi device ever. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with 5,020 mAh. It's huge. Huge. 
but not just a large battery. The other challenge that comes is the moment you say larger battery, what about the thickness? Is it going to be fat? Is it going to be ugly? Well, ugly it's clearly not because you saw the aura balance. But from a thickness perspective, in fact, it's the same thickness as the Note 8 Pro or probably 0.1 mm thinner than that. So without really sacrificing any ergonomics, with even better aesthetics, you've got the largest battery ever. And this battery gives amazing results. In fact, you get more than 20 days of standby time or more than 200 hours of music playback. Uh, my favorite, of course, you guys would have guessed, 11 hours of PUBG mobile playback. But what we got with this battery was amazing results. It's really, really hard to run this battery down. But once you manage to do so, we've got another surprise for you. The Note 9 Pro Max will come with a 33 watt fast charger. Wait, wait, wait. Inbox. Now this charger charges half the battery in under 30 minutes. It is quick. And that brings me to the end of performance section. What you saw was a Snapdragon 720G, which is built on the 8 nanometer chipset or process. It's more power efficient. And you've got that power efficiency combined with a massive battery that also charges faster. You've got support for Snapdragon Elite Gaming, and it comes with up to 8 GB of DDR4X RAM and up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 ultra fast storage. And perhaps the most important part for us, and one of the key reasons why we wanted to really use the 720G is the support for Navic. And that's the Note 9 Pro Max. So to summarize, on the Note 9 Pro Max, you get Pro Cameras Max Performance. The Pro Cameras start with a 64 MP quad camera array at the back. You've also got an ultra wide lens. You've got a 5 megapixel macro that can also shoot 1080p videos for the first time. You've got a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which is now in display. You've got a powerful Snapdragon 720G with up to 8 GB of RAM and up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. You've got a massive 5020 mAh battery with a 33 watt charger in the box. You've got an aura balance design, making it look spectacular. Uh, and this entire finish is obviously protected by Corning's uh, Gorilla Glass 5. And there are three of them, front, back, and the camera unit. And of course, you've got three gorgeous colors to choose from. So that's the Pro Max. I've got a question for you. So the question number five is, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with a Dash MAH battery and a super fast dash watt inbox charger. Use these hashtags, put your answers out there, and of course, taking these answers all day. So just continue and spread the word. Now that's the Pro Max. And of course, if you guys have been wondering what happened to the Pro, well, we've got a Pro right here. Uh, he's a yoga pro and also the in-house photography pro. Let me call upon Ankit to talk about the Note 9 Pro. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Anoch. No, 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 gadget wala in the house. Yeah! Naam to sunaoga, videos to dekhe honge. That's a great shot. I shouldn't really praise myself. But I'm super excited to be here to talk about the phone that you guys really want to know more about. And that is the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Lekin uske pehle, I really hope you are participating in these incredible giveaways that we've got for you today. And so I've got a question for you. Question number six. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with blank. That is India's first navigation system. 
Not really a difficult question if you've been paying attention. I must also urge all of you ki jitne bhi sawalon pe aap jawab de sakte hain please answer all of them there is no limitation you can respond to all of them that maximizes your chances of winning hashtag pro camera max performance and use all the other hashtags all right so redmi note 9 pro yeah that's the phone i'm going to be talking about successor to the superbly successful redmi note 8 pro This one is indeed a performance beast. The hashtag we're going with is, of course, the performance beast. Let me dive straight in to the design. And oh my God, I don't know about you, but I cannot stop salivating over how super premium and amazing these new phones look. Of course, the star of the whole show is the Aura Balance design. That gorgeous glassy back and the front, protected by triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5. We've got an in-display camera. trusted loving features like ir blaster the side mounted fingerprint sensor now i'm someone who's been using the redmi k20 pro as my primary device which as i'm sure you know has a really super fast in display fingerprint sensor but after having used the side mounted fingerprint sensor on the note 9 pro man i'm such a fan of this the star of the show is of course the 20 is to 9 aspect ratio cinematic screen the biggest one that we've packed it 6.67 inches and this gorgeous symmetric layout but let's also take a look at the performance note 9 pro hai to tagda performance to is a given so with respect to performance jaise aapko yaad hoga sumit had said something when the note 8 pro was launching why should pro have all the fun so i'm going to use that and make it why should max have all the fun which is why on the redmi note 9 pro we've got similar amazing performance courtesy the qualcomm snapdragon 720g packing it snapdragon elite gaming for the first time in this price category there's up to 6 gb of ram for smooth multitasking with 128 gb UFS 2.1 storage, fifth generation AI engine, this absolutely flagship feature, which is the Z axis vibration motor, which gives you a whole different experience. In fact, check this out when you buy the phone and ping us back and let us know what you think of it. For the first time ever, you can feel through vibrations the sonic quality of the Redmi ringtone. You gotta check that out. There is our biggest ever battery that we are shipping in to a Redmi Note device, 5,020 mAh. You can go on for hours doing your favorite things and 2x2 MIMO uh, Wi-Fi along with Navic support. India's indigenously developed navigation system. Super excited with all the cool performance features that are coming in on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Why should Max have all the fun? Talking about fun, let's jump into another question right here, right now. Question number seven. So, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Redmi Note 9 Pro come with super powerful latest Qualcomm blank processor. You have to respond by writing the entire statement and, of course, the answer for the processor. And use all these hashtags. Respond to all of them all day long and max out your chances for win. I'm going to dive straight into the next one, which is. undoubtedly my favorite feature if there's one thing that i do all day long apart from eat yummy food is shoot pictures and videos and so the camera on the redmi note 9 pro is going to blow your mind just the way it's blown my mind of course this gorgeous aura balance design and a quad camera array let's try and understand each one of those quad cameras shall we the star of the show here is the 48 megapixel primary sensor now this is the successor to the GM1 and we are bringing GM2 to the Redmi Note 9 Pro for the first time along with this of course like you've seen on the max there is a 119 degrees field of view ultra wide angle camera of 8 megapixel resolution we are also bringing that souped up 5 megapixel macro camera that has an incredible class leading focusing distance of 2 cm which also, by the way this time around does 1080p resolution video that is mind blowing and the trusted 2 megapixel depth sensor that works with the primary camera to give you bokehlicious portraits we're going to be taking a look at some of the pictures the 48 megapixel primary camera who wants to see what this looks like this half inch sensor shoots some stunning pictures and i've actually got a question for you on the next image boom all right so priya looks gorgeous great smile picture perfect smile but are you noticing something on her teeth 
Yeah, I know it took me a couple of seconds also when I saw it for the first time. Is it just some palak paneer from lunch or is it a diamond? Palak paneer, diamond, palak paneer, diamond. It is actually a diamond because I asked her, dude, what's going on with your teeth? Well, that's gorgeous. And this is the actual picture. Isn't that amazing? Those are the kind of details. Thank you. Those are the kind of details that you get to see on the 48 megapixel primary sensor on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So, me fans are absolutely going to love taking pictures with this. Let's do a quick comparison. Now, we love some of the phones made by our competitors. Yes, you heard that right. Because looking at those phones and their camera quality, we can actually see how good our camera quality is, which is why we love the competition. So look at this picture shot here in Bengaluru, uh, Vivo V17, Samsung A51, and of course the shot that's taken on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Now this is a challenging one because anytime you have to expose the sky, everything else kind of goes in silhouette or shadow, especially when challenging uh, lighting conditions. But everything is properly exposed, the colors are properly rendered, and it's very true to life on the Note 9 Pro vis-a-vis -vis the competition. So if you are a pro photographer, you know what choice to make. Let's jump straight into the next lens, which is the 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor and 119 degree field of view. I love ultra wides to shoot all these amazing structures and buildings in Bengaluru. As you see, one of the biggest problems with ultra wide angle cameras is the distortion towards the edges. But hats off to the amazing camera team and software team at the Xiaomi India HQ that works on correcting all these distortions and all the artifacts in pictures, giving you picture-perfect images every single time. Another ultra-wide angle shot. This is a very challenging scenario. As you can see, there's a ceiling, there's sun trickling in, there's neon lights, there's a wall, shadows, all those things. The image is perfectly exposed and great details are retained on this ultra-wide angle shot. Let's head to what, just like Anuj, it's one of my favorite lenses and sensors on the Redmi Note 9 Pro, and that is the 5 megapixel macro camera. Look at this shot. Man, I really wish they taught us photosynthesis by showing us pictures like this when I was in school. Great capillaries, great details. Take a look at some of the comparative shots here compared to Vivo V17 and Samsung A51. I mean... The main artery here itself is kind of blurry. And look at how detailed and sharp the capillaries are on the Redmi Note 9 Pro device. And of course, the colors, which are extremely true to life and detailed. That is what you get with the Redmi Note 9 Pro macro lens. The 2 megapixel depth sensor gets you incredible portrait shots. I mean, who would have thought that DSLRs are going to be a thing of the past if you want excellent quality portrait shots? That's Priya back again with her diamond studded tooth in this incredible portrait shot. Now what's interesting is please note how creamy the background blur and bokeh is. You know, bokehlicious is something that I would like to use as a word to describe how beautiful the background separation is. And the semantic segmentation that Anuj spoke about on the Note 9 Pro Max is also at work here with the primary sensor on the Note 9 Pro. Now, we've also got an updated front camera assembly. That's right. We've got a 16 megapixel in-display AI camera, which produces some of the best selfies in this category on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. There you go. That's a great selfie shot, isn't it? But we've not just stopped at incredible selfies in any daylight condition. By the way, think of it. 6.67 inch display also makes for a great flash. When the light goes down, the party starts. Now, of course... It's a given that the Redmi Note 9 Pro will have the best camera in its category. But what we've also done is beefed up the video chops of the Note 9 Pro. Look around and you see TikTokers, Instagrammers, YouTubers taking over mohallas, taking over streets, taking over malls, public squares. And that's absolutely amazing. We're witnessing a video revolution, which is why the videography on the Redmi Note 9 Pro is absolutely top-notch. We are bringing super stabilization on two of the rear cameras, which is wide and ultra-wide. And that gives you videos like this.
can't wait to see the kind of content that me fans and video creators are going to create. Redmi Note 9 Pro is going to be the default content creator phone. I just have a feeling about this. Now, I told you that we've really, really beefed up the video mode on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I mean it. Anuj spoke about bringing raw photography on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, which is the choice of professional photographers. But the choice of professional videographers, yeah, those features are packed in right here in the video pro mode. Let me give you a synopsis of some of the top features that include 8-bit log, focus speaking, exposure verification, and so much more on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. shooting videos for close to 15 years now and I've spent thousands of rupees on buying professional video shooting apps like Filmic Pro, Camera Free Light. You don't need to buy these apps anymore because all these pro video modes and features are already packed into your Redmi Note 9 Pro for absolutely free. How stunning is that? Let's sum up some of the camera features on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. An incredible 48 megapixel GM2 sensor primary camera. It's a quad camera assembly. There is 119 degree field of view, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, slow motion selfies for the first time, that really cinematic 21 is to 9 movie frame mode, a fully souped up, beefed up video pro mode, kaleidoscope and AI portraits. All right? Now, you want to see what the box looks like? Of course, that's what you're going to buy. The Redmi Note 9 Pro comes in this really cool, sleek, minimal packaging. Uh, you've got your 18-watt charger in the box, SIM ejector tool, user manual, the gorgeous Aurora Blue here on display, and Xiaomi's own silicon case to keep your prized possession absolutely safe. Before Manu comes on board here, and I know all of you guys are waiting with bated breath. Okay, okay, we are all hyped up and excited to buy these phones, but kitne mein aayega aur kab se milega? All these pricing and availability details coming very, very soon. But before that, let's just sum up the Redmi Note 9 Pro performance beast, 48 megapixel quad camera array, Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G. 5020, our biggest battery ever with an 18 watt fast charger in the box on this 16 megapixel in display AI selfie. The biggest screen that we've packed in 6.7 inch, 6.67 inch cinematic display or a balanced triple cornic glass 5 in a splash proof design. I'm going to call main man Manu once again here to announce the prices and availability sale details for these amazing phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you, Anuj, and thank you, Ankit, for telling us about these two incredible devices, Redmi Note 9 Pro and, of course, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now, before I reveal these prices, I'm sure you guys are excited about the incredible features that these two devices have. So let's have one more question. Now, this time, you can choose to answer both of them, and both of these questions will get one, one winner. So... You, the only thing that you have to do is tell us your favorite three features on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and your favorite three features on Redmi Note 9 Pro. And don't forget to use all these hashtags. Each of these questions will get one, one winner each. Now, before we go to price, I also want to talk about quality. And this is something that we really take pride in because we believe we have one of the highest quality standards in the industry. Now... Because they come from the house of Xiaomi, from Redmi, they have, these two devices have the highest quality standards. Both of them come with triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5. As Anuj explained, you get a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, on the back, and also on the camera unit. Three different Corning Gorilla Glass 5 that you get. Not just this, in case if you drop the phone, it also comes with reinforced corners on all four sides, so that it does not cause damage to your device. 
and they also come with P2I coding, which makes these devices splash through. So if you're carrying the phone, thank you. So if you're carrying the phone in your pocket and if you're going in the rain or driving a bike, you don't need to be worried, your phone will be fully protected. So let's talk about the price and availability. So let's start with Redmi Note 9 Pro. It is being launched in two different variants. The first one is 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage, and the second one is 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage. And it has incredible specs. Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, which is even faster than Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G. It comes with a 48 megapixel quad camera setup, a huge, massive 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt charger in the box, and of course, a huge display with Corning Corel Glass 5. Now, if you compare these devices, this device with device best selling devices from competition brands such as Samsung, Vivo, and Oppo, there's no comparison at all. This is the only device with this, which is with Qualcomm Snapdragon 720, only device with triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It has the biggest battery setup. It is the only phone with a glass body. While even the 20,000, 25,000 rupee phones are being made of plastic material, this one provides you a glass back. And of course, a huge memory and a great camera setup. All these devices typically sell for about 18,000, 20,000 rupees. So what should be the honest price of Redmi Note 9 Pro? The price of Redmi Note 9 Pro base variant, which is 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage is, can you guys guess? It is only rupees 12,999. Thank you guys. And the 6 GB, 128 GB variant is being launched for 15,999 rupees. Real honest prices. So that's Redmi Note 9 Pro for all of you guys. What about the big brother? Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Pro camera, max performance. This device is being launched in three different variants. The first one is 6 GB RAM, 64 GB storage. As Anuj explained, in order to have a great 64 megapixel camera performance, the minimum RAM that you require is 6 GB. So that's the base variant. And we have 6 GB, 128 GB, and we also have 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage. And of course, this is probably the best mid-premium device available in the market. With Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, up to 8 GB of RAM, a 64 megapixel quad camera setup, a 32 megapixel in-display camera sensor, a huge 5020mAh battery with 33 watt charger in box, and of course, a huge display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And there's no comparison for this device. If you look at even devices, competition devices at about 30,000 rupees, and we chose the best selling devices around 30,000 rupees, you can see that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is better than all of them on almost every single aspect. It is. It has Snapdragon 720G, it has triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5, 33 watt charging, the biggest battery, and an amazing, amazing camera setup. So what should be the price of Redmi Note 9 Pro Max? Should it be like 30,000 rupees similar to these devices, or should it be something different? The base variant, which is 6 GB RAM and 64 GB uh, storage is being launched at, any guesses? It is being launched at only rupees 14,999 rupees. And then we have 6 GB, 128 GB variant, which is being launched at 16,999 rupees. And the top variant, which is 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage is being launched at 18,999 rupees. So these are Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. But where can you buy them? Redmi Note 9 Pro will be available next week on 17th of March across me.com, our partner platform Amazon, Me Home Stores and Me Studio Stores and soon you can buy them across all our retail stores. Now we will also have launch day offers that we are going to reveal on 16th of March. Now, what about the elder brother, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max? That will be available one week after that, on 25th of March, again across all these platforms. 
Now, before we sign off, I have one last question for all our Me fans who are watching us live. And this is very, very simple. What is the honest price of Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro Max? Just answer using hashtag honest price of Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is. And don't forget to use all these hashtags. And you can get a chance to win amazing new Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. And don't worry. If you are not able to tweet now or post now on YouTube or uh, Instagram or Facebook, you can do it the entire day today. So that's all from our side. Thank you so much to all our me fans, our media colleagues, and our partners who are watching us live. And a big, big shout out to our Show Media team members who have helped organize this event and us who are sitting here live with us. So thank you so much, guys. With this signing off, see you guys very soon. Namaste.